Your Excellency, Mr. Sam Kusia, President of the General Assembly. Your Excellency, Mr. Ban Ki-moon, Secretary General of the United Nations. Your Excellency, Nasir Abdulaziz Al Nasser, High Representative for the Alliance of Civilization. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank the President of this General Assembly, the Secretary General of the United Nations, and the High Representative for the Alliance of Civilization for your leadership in convening this high level thematic debate on a very important agenda item. Thank you. <clears throat> you are looking at a miracle. By all medical expertise, I'm not supposed to be alive. On November 12, 2003, I fell dead of a massive heart attack in the airport in Sydney, Australia. I was clinically dead 45 minutes. They administered CPR, resuscitation, and they gave me 10 electric shock treatments to my heart. In the United States, they give three shock treatments and they stop. In Australia, they give four shock treatments and they stop. They gave me 10 electric shock treatments to my heart. The blood had coagulated already in my hands and my arms, in my feet and my legs. There was absolutely no hope for me at all. I was just a corpse. They took my body and put it on a stretcher and carried it to an ambulance. And the paperwork had been finished and it was DOA, dead on arrival at the hospital. But in the ambulance, on the way to the hospital, when all that medical science knew to do, and with all that was at their disposal to administer, it did not work. But in the ambulance, just a corpse lying on that stretcher, Jesus stepped on board that ambulance, and my heart began to beat, and the breath came back. The driver was startled. The paramedic was startled. He told me later, he said, I have never seen anyone recover from what has happened to you. This all happened November 12th, 2003. After several weeks in Australia, I returned to the United States to my home by myself because I was totally healed. In 2004, I went to a hospital in Jackson, Tennessee for just a major checkup, and they gave me a complete blood lipid profile, triglycerides, LDLs, HDLs, cholesterol, etc. In a couple of weeks, I went back for the results. And when I walked in, the doctor looked at me and he said, your results are absolutely excellent. He said, but Reverend, we now can check the DNA in a person's body. We decided to check your DNA. He said, when we check your DNA, he said, when God raised you miraculously from the dead, he removed the APOE genome genetic marker for heart disease out of every cell in your body. He said, that is impossible. It's impossible. He said, only God could do such a thing. He said, when God healed you and raised you up, he totally, miraculously healed you. So I am grateful today to be alive because we know, having been clinically dead for 45 minutes, 
with no breath and no heartbeat. I asked the paramedic later, I said, Nigel, what happened when you shocked my heart? He said, it would beat three or four times and it would stop. We know that after six minutes or less, with no oxygen to the brain, there is irreparable brain damage. But God has totally raised me from the dead. Finally, a doctor looked at me and he said, you have defied all the laws of medical science. I looked at him and I said, I didn't, but I know the one who did. His name is Jesus. I am an apostolic Christian. And my message here to you today is this. In the New Testament, in the book of Acts, chapter 2 and verse 38, it says, Repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. The answer, Your Excellencies, to the violence in our day and to the human atrocities in our day is Jesus. He is the Prince of Peace. I give you Jesus. God bless you.